Well, hello and welcome back. Uh, I thought in this little video um, I would say how I um, use my waste, what you might determine is a slack or uh, coal dust up, and um, I make it into more of a solid, usable um, kind of briquette again. So without further ado, I'll get on with it. So what I like to do to start with um, is that um, I've had this stored many, many years where I've tipped bags into this one bag when I've emptied a bag. So what I like to do first is um, sieve it or riddle it and get any usable size lumps out of it because you don't want too big a lumps. So that's the first. So just basically... And you can see it's quite an easy process. This is just a garden, ordinary, ordinary garden sieve, by the way. And then any bigger lumps, I'll keep in a separate bucket. And there again, these are excellent at lighting the fire, you know, um, uh, on in their own right. Uh, there again, a lot of this is, some of it is um, a fuel called home fire, which is a solid fuel. There is some little bits of coal here as well. Um, and um, I won't, you know, I won't take, I mean, that's quite good enough for me, that is, and uh, that will go into the barrow now. I don't do much of the time because um, I find that just easier for myself. So um, I just use um, six, six measures out of this little plastic. I think it was um, um, a little, some little pudding came in that many, many years ago. So I use six measures of the coal dust uh, into the barra and then I use one measure of just ordinary um, sawdust or shavings um, you know if, if you if you one of those people that cut wood up by a chainsaw that makes some great um, you know big chips of sawdust so that's great as well but this is just ordinary saw shaving sawdust so that goes in uh, to the mix and then uh, to finally uh, just sort of bind the whole lot together, um, a quarter of the same pot or container or whatever you're using, you can do this on a big scale if you've got a lot to use up. You know, you could do it almost with a bucket if you wanted to mix a lot up um, and then all, almost mould it into sort of bigger bits of, you know, like bigger bricks or briquettes or whatever you wanted. So that's a quarter of ordinary, just ordinary plain Portland cement. And then, obviously, we'll mix this all in and just add a slightest little drop of water um, to get it all to bind together. So, um, as that's a bit like watching paint dry, we'll come back and I'll show you when it's all mixed in. And um, so I've mixed all that in. It's not too wet. Um, the cement has mixed in. The saw shaving, saw dust has mixed in, and that's about the constituency I like. Sort of, you know, um, that can be pushed into, you know, um, anything—a flower pot, um, anything you want to mould it in, because you really want to now mould it, as we'll see. And I will do some, and I do mine in small little amounts because I use this um, basically to get the fire lit. So, you know, um, I use this as almost like a fire starter with my kindling. Um, so I want it in quite small moulded sections, which is quite a fiddle. But um, that's the constituency I like, you know, as I say. Um, so there's some uh, little moulded out, I don't know what you'd call them really, <laughs> lumps of uh, my slack sawdust cement mixture. 
I put them in these deep old seed trays because this time of the year, obviously these have to dry out now because you've added water to it and you want that cement to just bind it all together and obviously they're, they're quite crumbly at the moment but they will harden up um, if you air dry them and as I'm, I just mould them in a little flower pot, push it in, obviously I've taken my gloves off to, to use the camera but obviously you really should be doing this in gloves, I better add before somebody pulls me up on that I have got gloves here that I'm using um, and um, mould it into the flower pot and then basically it just tips out like that and then as I say I shall this time of the year they could air just air dry outside if you've got somewhere you know um, obviously if it's going to rain they really want to go under cover and that's why I just plonk them in the greenhouse stack them up uh, in these trays and then forget about them until you want to use them I mean how long does it take to dry well um, there again that varies on the weather but certainly um, you know, week to two weeks, they should be fine and quite, you know, usable and dry enough to burn. So I'll go on. Obviously, it's quite a time consuming job. You could, like I say, make bigger briquettes. You could get a, a bigger mould um, if you wanted to and do it that way. Obviously, then that speeds the job up. You could mix bigger batches, but I don't have an awful lot of slack and it's good to use every last bit of fuel up um, and I find this way is a really good way of doing that. Um, I don't like burning just normal coal slack because it can be sooty, it can, you know, um, put a lot of smoke out, but these don't. Um, we've got to be careful because after May um, 2023, the law is that you shouldn't be burning coal as in, you know, old fashioned coal, you can burn smokeless fuel still, but old fashioned coal on how, on, on open grates or any kind of um, wood burning stove or multi-fuel stove, I should say. Uh, but I don't know how that's gonna work or who's gonna police that. I can't see, you know, and I think if you've got coal left, it, you're gonna be not, you're gonna be foolish not to use it up. Um, but obviously these will be long gone by that time. And, and I've said anyway, these are made with, a um, modern day solid fuel slack um, that when I empty the bags and you get a lot of dust in the bags I tip the dust into another bag and save it um, the smaller bits and the dust well moving the story on it's now been a week since I made these um, fuel briquettes out of um, coal slack and little bits of coal that was left over which I got in some bags and they have dried out really well as you can see they're quite dry now and these are ready these are ready I shall be using these to light the fire and obviously that's a lot easier to drop on the fire or light the fire or place on the kindling you know it doesn't fall through the the bars in the grate and um, these are great at starting you know I find at starting the fire it soon gets away or, or put them on any time you can burn them any time it doesn't really matter you get some bits fall off them that haven't quite stuck together but they're, they're quite solid and um, I've had them outside and as it was raining yesterday afternoon I brought them into the greenhouse um, you know you could put them in a shed or garage or and they don't I mean in these trays where I keep they don't take a lot of room and um, I shall make another batch now um, with the same mix and then that will keep, you know, keep using that slack and little bits of fuel up. And um, I find it's a great way of getting rid of that and using it without wasting it. Um, so that's a really great way if you've got any coal waste or slack or little bits of coal in, in you know, you find in your fuel to mould them together like that and um, burn them like that. Um, as always, thank you for watching. Um, I really do appreciate um, you know people's comments and likes, and um, please do think about subscribing. And thank you to all the new subscribers; it really does help us. So, as always, thanks for watching, um, and I will see you very shortly in a future video. Until then, my best wishes and bye for now.